what's on my desk today? Today I have got the artist archetype. I thought we could take a look at this astrologically. I will share with you my astrological rules for how I recognize an artist in a person's chart. This is the simplest archetype to read. It is simply Mercury and Venus conjunct, or you could have Venus lauded by Mercury, or you could have Mercury lauded by Venus. And that's it. It's that simple. Anytime you see that in a person's chart, you know that they have an artistic gift of some kind. So let's take a look at some sample charts. Now I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to take a look at, all right, we've got Pablo Picasso right here. You can see he's got Venus in Virgo. Venus is lauded by Mercury, okay? He's got it again here in his D10 charts, Venus lauded by Mercury. He's got Saturn in here as well. So one of the things that we can say is that this career of his would have spanned over a long time. It would have required a lot of effort, a lot of his own personal effort over a very long time. And I do believe, I think he had a very long career, but I'm going to be investigating him soon as part of the master's series. If we also take a look at his D60 chart, you'll see again, we've got Venus conjunct Rahu. So he's innovating with his art. This is opposite uh, this, this rather dreamy Mercury here. Mercury is debilitated here. But, but you know, this, this is a very interesting configuration what he's got here. I'll give you another couple of examples. Celine Dion is very frequently a chart I turn to for the artist archetype because it's absolutely everywhere. We can see it in a very classical way. It's just Venus Mercury conjunct in so many of her divisional charts. So it's here in the D1 chart. We've got Venus Mercury conjunct here in the fifth house of creativity in D10. We've got it here with an exalted moon. God, that's beautiful in D9. If we take a look at a lot of her, let's have a look at many of her divisional charts. So I'll just kind of organize my screen a bit better. There we go. So you can see it replicates across divisional charts. Uh, we can see it even in D4 destiny chart. We can see it here in D7. D7 is, yes, it's your children, but it can also be what you give birth to in terms of your art. Okay, so she's got it there. She's got it here in her D20 spiritual chart. She's got it here in D3. Uh, we can see, look there again, Venus lauded by Mercury in D45. It is quite interesting though, in D60, the most sensitive of all the charts, it's not particularly here as I would like to see it, but we can see Venus and Mercury are basically next door to each other. If we take a look at the chart of Nick Drake, you'll see all of this happening yet again. So he is pretty amazing too. We've got this classical Mercury uh, Venus conjunct and it's retrograde here in the first house. You can see in D10, we've got it here again. We've got it here in D9. And again, in the divisional charts, when we have a look, uh, you will see it replicating absolutely everywhere, just like it did for Celine Dion. You'll see it, you know, quite a bit uh, as, as you move through all of these charts. So as you can see, let me stop sharing. There we go. As you can see, the artist archetype is very simple, very easy to read. And if you have it replicating across lots and lots of divisional charts, you know for sure that this person's career must make use of that incredible artistic gift. Now, if you have this in your charts, I would love to hear your thoughts on this below. One of the things I'm loving about these What's on My Desk videos is that you guys are sharing the most incredible and valuable knowledge. Uh, the, the video that I've enjoyed so far, I haven't uploaded the Munglik one yet. I don't know if I'm uploading that just yet, but um, 
the one about the maturation points. That's such a good video because when you look at the comments below, so many of you have shared your actual life alongside those maturation points. And that's where the most powerful learning comes from. I do believe it comes from real life. So if you'd like to share something about your Venus and Mercury in the comments below, I'd really love to hear from you. And I'm sure the community would love to read that too. All right. Well, thanks so much. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.